Right now in Gilbert sits a piece of history of a space station that will orbit the moon. Officials at Northrop Grumman showed off part of the Lunar Gateway Space Station today to 12 News journalist William Pitts. Yeah, and it will soon have guests on its way to land on the moon. Take a look. In two to three years, this will be the highest hotel room ever. It's going to be more like a studio apartment. Yasmin Ali would know. She's in charge of building humanity's most advanced hotel. It's called Halo. It's the habitat module for the Lunar Gateway Space Station. And for Ali, it's more than a place to stay. It's probably the most momentous thing in my life. When the station's finished, it'll be a base orbiting the moon. Astronauts will fly there, stay there, and then take short trips to the moon's surface and back. But right now, it's in a clean room in Gilbert. I would love to fly to Gateway. I mean, we all would. Astronaut Randy Bresnik hasn't made it to the moon. Not yet, anyway. He did spend five months on the International Space Station. We've got a system to get us to the moon. We've got a system to now live around the, the moon itself. The halo was machined and assembled in Italy, then flown on a huge cargo jet to Mesa and trucked to Northrop Grumman's facility in Gilbert. They'll pack it full of all the systems it'll need in space, then to the moon. But why spend the money and the years to go back to the moon? I wasn't born during the Apollo program. I'm here today because of the Apollo program. NASA Deputy Program Manager Carlos Garcia Galan says there are benefits we may not even know about yet. Miniaturizing electronics to go to the moon in the 60s is why we have every device in your house. Having to take that, make it miniature, to be able to put it on the spacecraft, revolutionized integrated circuits. So we're about to do the same thing in having to go to Mars. Launch day for the Halo is sometime around 2027, they think. And when launch day comes... I think it will be a highly emotional event for, for me and for the hundreds of people across the country that have put their support, their love, sweat, blood and tears into this program. Because this is not a job for any of these people. It's way more than that. It's in our DNA to go explore, to wonder what's over the next hill, you know, what's what's beyond the next rise, what the next sunrise is going to bring. William Pitts, 12 News. Do you remember when you were a kid and they would have these science fiction shows and people were living on space stations? Yes. And now, you know, it, we already have the ISS and now this is going to be another one. I know. It's When you hear these stories, it's hard to really just grasp what they are saying, right? Yeah. Because it just seems like it's so impossible but yet you see it right there. And, and it's cool because it's happening right here in the valley. And how far the technology has, has come. come yeah. yeah. All right.